Hi friends, welcome to Khan's Explore. Today we will see how to bake tasty fish biryani. So let's see how to make it. I have taken boneless fish over here. Add ginger garlic paste, chili powder, little garam masala, salt only for the fish, a little lemon juice. So mix them all well. Now add the fish in the hot oil. This the same oil we'll use it for biryani also. Once cooked on one side, just flip it over. Don't overcook the fish because again we have to do the dum. So now transfer it to into a plate. Now in the same oil we'll add the fennel seed or the somph, star anise, cardamom or ilachi, cloves, black cardamom. Cinnamon, now slightly fry it, now to this add a onion, keep frying it, add ginger garlic paste, so this is a simple fish biryani recipe but very tasty. It just looks like the restaurant style. To this add tomatoes. So the tomatoes should get well cooked. Cover the lid and cook it. So let's check the tomatoes. It has become very soft, it's cooked well. Now we'll add very few mint and coriander leaves. Add turmeric powder, chili powder, cumin powder, and garam masala. Mix them all well. Now add curd. Keep mixing the curd. Now cover the lid and cook it for few minutes. The oil should get separated. You can see the oil is floating on the top. Add salt to taste. Now on this we'll place a fried fish and then we'll keep it aside so that we'll prepare our rice. I've taken here hot water. To the hot water, I am adding cardamom, star vanis, fennel, clove, cinnamon, bay leaf and salt. Add lots of salt. Mix it well and allow the water to boil. When it's nicely boiling, I'm adding the basmati rice which I've already washed and soaked it for half an hour. So don't overcook the rice, just we'll cook it until it is 80% done. Mm. 
Now we'll spread it on the fish masala into the same pan where we have prepared the fish. Spread it evenly. Sprinkle it with some ghee. Add little hot water. Cover the lid. And now we'll heat an iron tawa. When it's very hot, reduce the flame to low. Then place this fish biryani and then cook it for 15 minutes. Now after 15 minutes you can see the rice is very well cooked. It's perfectly cooked. You can see. Now it's time to serve. Let's serve it. This biryani you should not mix it. Just take it and serve it in the plate. Very simple recipe but very tasty and very delicious. You can see our fish biryani is ready. If you take boneless fish it's very easy to eat. Even the children can eat it. Garnish with little raw onions and lemon. That's it. Our tasty fish biryani is ready. You can see how well the rice is so colorful. It's cooked very perfectly. So you want to taste it? Then make it. If you like my channel, share it and subscribe it. Thank you.